All right, physics students. So I am going to do a um, demo. This is for your collision and explosions demo worksheet. And you guys are going to describe what will happen first. So I want you to read through all the different descriptions. We've got elastic, where there's a perfect bounce. We've got inelastic scenarios, where they stick together. And then we've got some explosion scenarios. I'm gonna give you some graphs so you can do calculations for at least three of these different demos. But I want you to describe what you think is gonna happen first. You can attempt to draw a velocity time graph of what you think it will look like. And then we will um, kind of represent and show what that graph will look like after you have um, given it your best estimated guess. We're gonna do collision one together. This one is the red cart collides into the blue cart. So I'm gonna have the red cart here. The blue cart is at rest. The red cart is gonna start with some sort of initial velocity. I want you what's gonna I want you to tell me what is gonna happen after the collision and describe the speed to me. How is it going to compare to the initial speed of the red cart? If I have my blue cart at rest, red cart collides into it, perfect stop. All right. So you're going to do some calculations. I'm going to present the um, graph of the velocity versus time so you can do that calculation and then you'll see what the answer should be. Is there conservation of momentum? There's probably some source of error due to the fact that my cart is, my carts are not perfectly equal mass and the um, table's slightly slanted downward, but um, it's a pretty good demonstration. Um, we're going to start right here where the red cart is pushed and it, it's moving in the positive direction. The blue cart is starting at rest and then when they collide, the red cart stops and the blue cart starts moving in the positive direction. This is a direct transfer of velocity because they're the same mass cart or relatively the same mass so that the red cart's velocity transfers over to the blue cart. So scenario, we've got two carts that are of the same mass relatively close to the same mass, and they are going to have a perfect elastic bounce, with, um, and we want to see what is going to happen. Make your prediction, and then we will watch the demo in three, two, one. So in this demo, I've got them both at rest. I launch them at each other perfectly at the same speed, and it looks like they bounce away from each other at the exact same speed. So that's going to be your scenario for collision two. The red and blue cart collide in a head-on collision, both approaching at the same speed. And both carts have equal mass. And then the last one, collision three, is when my red cart has double the mass of my blue cart. Now we won't be able to see the actual number values, but you can probably get a pretty good um, image of what this looks like. I'm gonna roll my red cart pretty slow, and notice how much faster that blue cart is moving forward versus the red cart. So that's your collision three with um, any, or sorry, elastic collisions. I'm gonna take some of these pieces off. I've got my elastic collision apparatus here, so I'm gonna remove that. And I wanna do some inelastic collisions where they stick, and what's nice is I actually have Velcro here to make sure that they do stick. In our first collision, part B, collision one, I've got the red cart colliding into the blue cart, and the blue cart starts at rest. Write down what you think is gonna happen, talk about how the speed changes, and then we are going to do the demo right now. So I want you to notice they stick together and they start moving at a smaller speed. By how much? Well, we don't exactly know, but if I have a small mass, when it collides, it gets double the mass, so I can assume that the velocity decreases by half. I'm gonna go at a faster pace this time, and you can obviously that it slows down. All right, what happens if I collide them at the same speed? I believe this is the 
we should see a stick and a stop. And that's what we've got right now. Let's go into the red car colliding um, with a head-on collision with the blue cart that has double the mass. I'm actually going to do this as instead of a head-on collision, I want you to change collision three right here where it says, and a red car collides into the blue car at rest. So I'm gonna keep the blue card at rest. I'm gonna have a second mass on the right card. We're gonna see what happens when they collide with each other. We've got a relatively slow slowdown. I'm gonna try it this way, where I have a smaller blue card collide into a more massive right card. So let's see what happens now. Much smaller decrease when it collides. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, have an explosion. And in the explosion, I'm gonna have two cards of equal mass. You make your prediction as to what you think is going to happen. And I am going to show you in three, two, and they bounce back. And I, I will show you the graphic of that one so you can do the calculation. In this image, we've got both carts starting at rest and they explode away from each other. So we've got the red cart moving forward in, uh, um, with a velocity of 0.391 meters per second and the blue cart moving backward with a velocity of negative 0.362 meters per second. And because the carts are the same mass, the two velocity values are about the same. What do we think is gonna happen if we've got a much more massive, and I'm gonna do it this way so that I can launch my blue cart and have a more massive red cart. Okay, three, two, Notice how much slower this went than this card. That hit the back of my desk much sooner than the red one. There you go. That is your explosion with one card double the mass of the blue card.